As the Migrators roll in, Brad kicks it off with a new group from Texas and scores on 32 ducks and 32 geese, which sets the tone and pace for the next three days. Jason rolls in a few minutes later with 40 big Canadas, and I take a group on a slam dunk afternoon duck hunt, but the hot weather and clients set a pace of their own. Mel heads out with the hopes of getting the Texas boys the third 32-32 hunt of their trip. Can he pull it off? I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was 23 years ago. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. It's turnover day at the lodge and uh, we got the guys out this morning, shot a limited ducks quick and uh, now we're out looking for a couple good hunt options for the morning. You know we've got one here, a bunch of ducks, Canada's and specs mixed in. I've been watching it for a few days but uh, was out in the field this morning shooting ducks there and uh, wasn't able to watch it. It's kind of winding down a bit now but uh, we'll see what happens here. It's still early in the evening, it could build a bit and uh, we could get out there in the morning and get a nice mixed hunt in for the guys but uh, we'll get an idea if it's a good option for the morning. The other guys are out taking a look at their options and we'll go from there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not quite a bunch in there. Well, we pulled up on an empty field, but as we were watching, it's filling up pretty good. I bet you there's at least 4,000 birds in this, and they're still coming in. Oh yeah, there's another hundred coming right there. Mostly all speckle bellies. Speckle bellies are different than hawkers. You gotta have a lot of them to get a limit. I'd say there's at least 4,000 there. Maybe more, maybe five. We won't be able to do it tomorrow, but the next day for sure we'll get in there and see if we can get a limit out of these. So we're running out of daylight now and uh, the flights have really stopped coming into this field for the evening. It's a tough call. There's a good number of birds, but uh, is there enough to make it a great shoot? That's that's the thing. We're looking for those world-class hunts. Uh, don't want to really go in something where we're going to be short on both ducks and geese, then it uh, makes it difficult to find a good afternoon option. So this is a good one to uh, keep an eye on, but uh, to go in in the morning, it's just not shaping up to be what I want it to look like tonight. <laughs> Listen to the ducks in there. It's there's just been a constant flow of ducks going. It's like it's like Kool-Aid out of a pitcher just pouring in there. Um, it's not a target. I just got here. We're trying to do a combo or a goose hunt in the morning. And right now it's looking like uh, Jason with a combo and Brad with a combo for tomorrow morning. Daryl's combo was never really super strong on the ducks. And I just got confirmation now that it's a you know, marginal goose goose hunt at best and a very weak duck hunt in there. So um, we just pulled the pin on that one and we shifted the emphasis over to uh, Jeff and Brad. This will either be a backup duck hunt if something goes sideways or uh, a morning pothole shoot one morning. And that's how it shook down this Sunday. <laughs> No, oh, there they go. In there. I want to pick a spot. They fed all over the field tonight, so I'm going to kind of pick the spot that puts me farthest away from where they're roosting. And it looks like they're going down about a mile to the north, so I'll probably set up where they started tonight, which is uh, by the day roost on the south end, and try to set up there a bit just to give myself that little extra distance. Gives me an extra 600 yards probably, so I'll put them about a mile and a half, which should be all right. I was going to hunt the north end, but that would put me close to a mile, and if you're banging away at ducks in the morning at a mile away, the Canada's will figure it out. All right, so they're, they're over a mile, and I'm shooting away. 
It'd be nice to be up on this hill. It's always nice to have a hill. It's a nice structure here. Or I go farther down into the low, but the honkers are definitely on this end. I think we'll take a chance. Hopefully a mile and a little bit's enough. Because it's nice here. Not shooting straight away, but you can't have everything. It's not perfect, but it's close to perfect. It's still a good hunt, so see how it goes in the morning. Oh, these are marked too. So that's right. This is right. And all right, I'm gonna put yours in. Uh, there we go. Well, we're this trying to put this down. blind together. And uh, it's my first morning here, so I'm just trying to figure out how they've marked it this year, so. Pull it back on this side, right about there. Yeah. Can you get robo ducks out for me? Yeah. Well, of course it couldn't be perfect. We got here this morning and the wind was flipping around on us, so wind finder says northwest. It's flip flop, southwest, west, a little bit out of the northwest, so we're gonna go with wind finder. It's usually right, so we set up northwest. Had to move the blind three times. A little bit of a cluster this morning, but uh, we should be ready before legal here. That's where we came a little early, so. Just uh, just moving our decoys for about the third time, so. Trying to get set up here, get a robo on the ground before the ducks get here. Go, guys, go, 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 go. I like it, I like it. Grinding them up this morning. Go, 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 go. Go guys, up, up, up. Let's do a quick clean up, just to see where we're at. We've got lots of time, the dust aren't going to stop. Let's just, let's just do a quick zip, pick up as many as you can. Going good so far, grinding up the ducks. One good flight of speckle belly, so try to clean up, see where we're at, get back in, finish up our ducks, get ready for the honkers. Okay, what have we got there, boys? How many there? All right, well, I just got an update from Brad. Almost done ducks, five geese. That's pretty good for 30 minutes into the morning, I'd say. That's good, no word from Jason yet. That's funny, hey, he's almost done his ducks and ours are just starting to wake up. They're all on a different clock, these funny little creatures. Uh, I'm watching a, a duck only hunt, bunch of mallards puddling, hitting a pond, and then they're probably gonna flip out to feed right, right nearby it somewhere in the peas. Uh, Jason is out on a goose only hunt, so he'll need a backup where we'll have to shoot some ducks this afternoon for his group, and Brad's on a combo, so he should hopefully get all his ducks, some geese, and then we'll have to back him up and that is that. And ooh, look at that. There's a bunch of ducks rolling in there right now. Go, go, go. Two more. Go, boys. Go, go, go. Get on the water. Go, boys. Oh, just Raining birds. She took one, bro. Get on the water. We're crushing them this morning. It's working out great. These guys' first trip here. It's been a beauty. Hey, 
Speckle Belly's doing the dance, honkers over the top. It's been good. Uh, two more geese of any kind, Speckle Bellies, and about eight more ducks. We got 24, we need eight more ducks. So, jump back in and try to clean her up. It's still early, the sun's hardly even up. Ducks over top. Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Go, boys, go, go, go. Get on him, buddy. Oh, he's a silver. Go, boys. Three ducks to go? Okay, three ducks. Go on, boys. Go, go, go. Nice. How about us, Texas boys, huh? Did we do that? Great. Texas boys. That's how we start. It doesn't get any better than that, boys. No, it don't. <laughs> oh, that's why we came right there. Yep. Okay, so Brad's coming in with a new group of guys, never been here before. He rocks it, ends up with 32 ducks, 32 geese. Jay should be in shortly as well with 40 big Canadas. What a, what a great, and this is another great day. Great day. We're, we're all happy here at the lodge. I'm sure these guys are tickled. Tickled. Good job, man. Oh, thank you, go. buddy. Thank you. It was awesome. It. it was unbelievable. Two, unbelievable. Two. Good stuff. Yeah, it was good. Hey, hey, boy. Boy. You done really good. good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's a stack of them. Yeah, what a more, this has got to be one of our birds. best ones. Holy moly. Yeah, good. good. They do it good? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. there was a few that... They wanted the left side, and, but no, most up there. Good, no, good. No, it was good. And the boys shooting the heavy metal? Said it. Oh, yeah, that heavy metal is incredible. It's good stuff. Incredible. Yeah. It's good. Good stuff. All right, I'm going to go uh, in a couple minutes here. I just got to go back and check on a pond. We'll go do that and see what I need for gear. Take these guys, shoot some patos this afternoon. Hopefully wrap it up early, get back and go spotting again. Be good. Oh, and there's a few of them. There they are. There they are. All right. Oh wow, this is this is you can see where a lot of ducks been coming here. Lots of day roosting. Nice little spot. All right, what do I need for gear here? I'm just gonna pull the truck up here, throw out a bunch of floater duck decoys. I'm gonna use the Cabela's Northern Flights today, and then I'm gonna stab a mojo or a robo duck in the ground. I'm gonna put some, um, probably cut some willows, just because the cattails are so so sparse in here. Get the guys to sit on buckets. They'll need waders or at least a hip boot, and you know it should be good. I mean, the ducks are coming to feed on the side hill behind me, and they'll come for a drink, puddle, and they should hop out to feed. And we're just gonna intercept them in that puddling, puddling behavior before they go to feed. So this is really about as classic as an afternoon duck hunt as you're gonna get. I mean, it's a it's a pothole in a pea field with cattails around it. I mean, these ducks will puddle, hop out to feed, and we should be able to crush them over the decoys. Should be good. Drill them, guys. Drill them, drill them. Go, 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 go. On the water. The water. Get out the one on the water. Did you get him? Yeah. Nice. Had him, boy. Nice. Nice shot. That, that was nice. Get over here. Come back. Someone shoot that duck, please. Nice. All right. Don't worry. You're not hired to shoot. It's okay. Go, 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 go. We, we should have had three limits. Beautiful shooting, but plenty ducks. 
I've said this before, sometimes it's like drinking fine wine out of a nice glass, and tonight was like drinking fine wine out of a styrofoam cup. We should have been done an hour and a half ago, this didn't do it. We got them though, I mean, we shot a limit. I have to come back with the dog, clean up a little bit, but uh, we got it done anyways. And I think, that, I think the hunters had a good time. Mario? Yeah? Tell us the truth. What? Have you ever had a hunt where guys fell in more than we did? No, you guys did pretty good that way. <laughs> I've hunted with Claudio for about 10 years. But this is the first time I got to actually hunt with the man. And we were pathetic. I can't believe it. We let him down. But Claudio, can we do it again? Yeah, of course. OK, we're going to do it again. You didn't let me down. You're a good man, Claudio. Yeah, thanks. I love it, those are just going in there on a rope. Well, we had two combos here. One's about a mile apart from each other. The ducks are still on the other combo, but finally these geese came together. They're all, they're all in here. And uh, this is one of the targets for the morning. I don't know how many birds we got in here, I'm guessing three to four hundred honks and a pile of ducks. There could be more geese, so I have no idea. All I know is it's a, it's a really big uh, Canada combo. Yeah, we've been doing really, really well on, on these combos. Uh, the specs aren't down yet, and the Canadas are all coming together, and I don't know how many limit hunts we've had in the last week, but I'm, I'm sure it's more than five. Yesterday, Brad got a double limit not too far from here. And last night, the other group had gotten all their geese that morning, and Claudio took them out and finished them off for their ducks that night. So uh, we've been lucky tonight. Today, uh, Jeff went double limit, Daryl got all his honks, and Jay's just finishing off the other fellas on their ducks tonight. And I know he's just about limited out, so we're, we're just having perfect, perfect days here. Yeah, tomorrow uh, we got two big combos. I got this one, Brad's got another one a few miles from me. Uh, one of the groups is brand new, and that particular group has had double limit hunts both mornings in a row, and it's not very often where these guys get to hunt three times versus five, but you limit out in the morning, they're more than happy to sit at the lodge and. Uh, relax and take it easy and have a cocktail or two and uh, double limit hunts don't come every day and they've had two of them in a row. So I'm excited about this one in the morning. Uh, I don't think anything's gonna go wrong with it now. We're at 7.30 at night so we're good to go. Go, go, go! There you go, right there. Rip him, rip him. a tough one it wasn't it wasn't great we had all those birds in here last night this morning we virtually well we didn't have any flights of geese at all uh, the ducks early they were all right but as the sun started coming up they they wouldn't do it either it's like they didn't want to feed don't know just is what it is 
conditions today were uh, very difficult for hunting. There's no wind, it's hot, birds didn't fly, full moon, bluebird, and uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't as good as the first two days, but uh, you know what, that's hunting. Managed to scratch 23 ducks out of it and one honker, but I expected a real quick duck hunt in here and probably a really good chance at a big limit of geese and didn't happen. That's why it's called goose hunting. They basically had three hunts this week out of five because they doubled up twice. Great hunts. Got a full limit of geese, full limit of ducks two days in a row. And we couldn't deliver this morning, so it's too bad. Lots of hunters have got 40-40, but one time in their hunt. There's only been three that have ever got it two days in a row and went for it in the third, and these gentlemen are one of them. And it's their first trip up, so. They had, they had some good hunting, not so good today, but they had some good hunting the other two days. We didn't do it today, but we'll be back. The elusive triple crown is still out there. That smell burnt to you? Just cleaning some guns here. We finished up uh, a week worth of groups and uh, turnover day, getting all the work that needs to be done finished for the next guys coming in this afternoon. We got 10 guns to clean, we got some trucks to clean, skibotting vehicles to clean, and uh, re rig the trailers, and we're back at it tomorrow morning. We had zero geese show up. Oh boy. Uh, Ducks would not do it. They went 32-32, 32-32, and we had actually a conversation the other day saying if you stick with us long enough, you're going to bump into an ugly one. And, and yeah. I mean, it's not even ugly, right? Would no, you end up no, with 23 no. ducks and a goose? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean yeah. that, anywhere in North America, that's a great hunt. Yeah, no, I mean, it wasn't ugly by any means, but I mean, going into this one, from what I'd seen in the last three days, it should have been a slam dunk. I was pretty confident we were going to be real close to the 32-32. Oh! And, and they never showed up. The geese. The geese. Still a great three days of hunting. And, and great four guys, lots of fun oh, yeah. to be around. Fun. Yeah.